Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Fjorda here on, well, Fjorda. And basically in this episode I want to check out Asgard. So, yeah, it's a completely free teleport. I thought you'd need rune stones, but yeah. Wait, what? Let me access it. What? Like, I'm not allowed to do it. Do you actually, do you need rune stones? What? I'm not allowed to do it. I'm I'm above level one. Um, do I have like something that's not allowed on me? Like, what's up? Oh. Okay, I did it. Oh right, yeah, we're bringing Bob with us because yeah, I'm, I thought check out Mount him in the side here, but we should we should, have, we should be able to mount him once we get to Asgard. And we've got the rune stones on us to, yeah, if they do anything over there. See, I just want to check it out, because I know it's like Gen 2, but yellow, from what I've seen. Uh, the mod version and the, like, trailer and stuff. So, yeah, let's see, what is over here? Alright. Wait, no, wait. Why are we, are we not allowed to ride dinos in here? Also, why is the audio so quiet? Why is it so quiet over here? Yes, it suddenly just got super quiet. Also, the mountains haven't rendered and it's so bright. Let me just try and fix the volume. That should be better. Are we not allowed to ride dinos in here? Can I like... Okay, well, I guess we'll use the Andrew Sarkis. I thought we were allowed... I thought you could ride dinos here. Alright, do we get a new map? No. Alright, we're here, apparently. Yeah, we're probably like underneath the main map. I guess we'll cry the orb then. And we'll use our Andrew Sarkis to go around. There's a big rib cage there. I think that was stolen from Scorched. I did have any. Oh, yeah, crap. I had. Yeah, I was meaning to tame it. I was, I was going to tame it Tropio. Um, and then I decided to go to Asgard instead and I forgot to unload the stuff. Oh, you can summon the Fenrir from here as well. But let me just. This is all my cluster characters' stuff. I'm not going to take any of it. And yeah, let me just upload it. Uh, Andrew Sarkis, let's go. Right, let's get on. And yeah, I made a few more bullets. Okay, we got mammoths, we got ankies, we got... Yeah, what is that? Is just a village thing? Yeah, because you could use flies here in the modded version. I know that much. Are they just not allowed in the... This version, or is there like a specific spot where they aren't allowed, like the obelisk? This village looks really cool though, I must say. It's a country, of course it's a country. But yeah, this village looks really cool. Got, it looks like, um, what's it called, Edoras, I think, from Lord of the Rings, the capital of Rohan. Yeah, it looks like that. Uh, my base off of that, I don't know. Let's go down here. Um, yeah, as I said, it is basically just Gen 2, but yellow. And yeah, it's a really cool place. Now, in the modded version, Wyvern spawned here. Like, there was the Lightning Wyvern Trench. I don't know if that's the same in this version, but you never know. Also, I forgot to bring parachutes, that would have been smart. Let's check out this ribcage thing. Yeah, nice and shady in here. Well, it's probably hot as hell hell, because it isn't in a metal box, but yeah. This ribcage thing looks so cool. Just a giant ribcage with, like, trees and stuff in it. Like, what was... Here, we got gas bags. Like, yeah, like, what was this originally? Like, King Titan? I don't know. What kind of rocks are those? I think, yeah, those are just stolen from Gen 2. I thought that might be some special thing. It's so satisfying to just run through them. Okay, do we lose our charge for some reason? And what are those mammoths fighting? Scorpions. Oh, there's another Andrew Sarkis. No, that's a Daedon. They look similar. Um, this is where you could summon Wyverns. Not, not summon Wyverns, I'm dumb. This is where the Wyvern Trench was in the... Thingamadoo, the Lightning Wyvern Trench was in the modded version, and there's still a big hole here. 
which is how you got into it. So I'm going to check this place out. This is probably going to be very dumb, but oh well. We have a turret, so we might be able to shoot the wyverns a little. Alright. Let's... Before we head in, we might just want to put down a sleeping bag. And I might want um, I might just... Is it worth trying to leave the RG here? Go we ride it here? No. Let's just leave it there anyway. So it doesn't... I don't know, if we can't get our stuff back, we don't lose the RG. Alright, let's... Probably have put some stuff on the RG. But yeah, let's go in here and see what's up. There's bats. Okay. And lighting issues. Um, what's through here? This is where you could get, like, the thingamajooba. Uh, this is where you got Mjolnir in the modded version. Which is just a regular old skin for a sword or something. Instead of, like, the super cool thing it is now. Alright, this is the Lightning Wyvern Trench. Is there lightning wyverns here? Oh, there is. They're just chilling. Might be able to get an egg. Except these things do a lot of damage. I should have... Oh god, no, this isn't good. I think the only way to get out of here is grappling. And there's bats. Right, Andrew Sarkis. Do your thing. Let's bite it. Let's keep biting. This Andrew Sarkis does do a crap ton of damage. And again, these things also do a crap ton of damage. Right, let's use the turret. Pew, pew. The turret doesn't do much damage, and these things do do a lot of damage, but one of them is almost dead. We stay hidden, yeah, we we're hidden from the light in every second. Alright, we got one. That's a 180. I'd love to get an egg from that. Alright, let me up. These things are such, so good at jumping, like, with their size. Ooh. I guess we're down here. Right, let's keep fighting this guy. I think he's a lower level. Nope, this is also a 180. Two 180s. Are there any other ones? I don't think so. Which means, potentially, two 180 eggs. Alright, can I shoot this thing? It's probably easier than, like, trying to bite it. Because, yeah, this is such an awkward thing. I don't know why. Alright, let me up. You can hit it easier from over here. Can we, can, wait, can we stun these things out of the air with the back kick? Because that does stun things. That actually hit. Because yeah, the back kick does stun things. So I don't know if we can knock... So, do you reckon we can knock things out of the air with it? Right. Yeah, this... Oh crap, now I'm full. Oh crap, I forgot these things take so much full damage. Yeah, this thing's also bloody. Alright, come on. This is... Intense-ish. Oh no, it ate the dead Onyx! Crap! Now it's gonna get like an almost full heal. We should still be able to kill it, but it's just gonna be a lot more awkward. I'm just gonna grab. It's gonna shotgun it because it's probably gonna be easier. I guess my character's in levels, but that's not as important. Let's get on the Andrew Sarkis because I can't take that kind of damage. I mean, I probably could for a little, but. If we can, yeah, well, let's we'll like grapple around, do some fancy pro grapple skills. Yeah, it's bloody. But. There we go, finally, we got it. Okay. Oh boy, okay, two levels. Sweet. More melee. We got some sulfur, I guess, even though we can't craft scorched engrams. Because Wildcard wants to just be a pain in the butt. Alright, let's just feed you some of this prime. Alright, please be a 180. Oh, there's another one there. That's gonna aggro when I steal this, so... It's a 180. It's a 180. It's a 180. Right, I'm gonna pop my Andrew Sarkis here for when that other Wyvern decides to come over. Um, although maybe we can just... Nah, I'm gonna do this. Yeah, I'll pop the Andrew Sarkis. We'll get it to a better position. There's another egg down there. Is that another 180 or is it the level of whatever's, whatever that Wyvern is? And it's aggroed. Okay, it doesn't do as much damage, so it shouldn't be as a high level level. Let's bite it. Cause, yeah, I'll be as expensive. There you go, 25. Sweet. Alright, 180. Oh my god. Got a 180 lightning egg. That's amazing. That is so good. Oh, there's another one. That's also low level at least. We yeah, have are still OP no matter what the level is. Yeah, 50. It's down. 
good. Good, good. Alright, I want to wait till our cry time is over before I cry this thing again to get out of here. This trench is such an awkward th place, because like... Yeah, at least it's nice and small. And you're not allowed flies in here, so the only way to get up is to cryo and grapple. Or I guess tech suit. And those are probably allowed. But yeah, I guess I'll wait for the cry timer. And then yeah, we'll grapple out and we'll be home free. And hopefully no wyverns respawn. That would suck. And let's grapple up to that bridge thing. Doesn't look very sturdy to grapple onto, but whatever. Alright, and pro grapple skills. For grapple skills. Alright. And let's just lower down onto the bridge thing. Alright, yeah. Another thing that I want to do here is find a uh, rock drakes and shadow mains. Because in the trailer, both of those were in this biome. So. Realm, biome, whatever you want to call it. So. You never know. They might be here. They might be somewhere we can find them. Because if we can get a rock drake egg and a wyvern egg in the same video. Yeah, I don't think we could tame a shadow main, because those things are a pain. Like, also we need, oh yeah, we need fish baskets to tame them. And we can't get fish baskets, because Wildcard wants to be annoying. Uh, I'll probably spawn them in. <laughs> or I'll probably, like, do GCM and then I'll just craft them legitimately. Because... That's not fair. I want to use Shadow Mains for the boss fight as well, because they're OP. And, yeah, yeah. Rexes are too overused for boss fights. Oh, gotcha! 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 Is it a high level? 25, okay. That's a gotcha. That's a gotcha. I, I thought they spawned this map, because... Yeah, because I got a gotcha saddle from its drop. So, I did have a punch that they spawned here, but I didn't, but I didn't know if they actually did or not, so that's a 140. Um, I can't mark things out on the map, but we're going to have to remember that. I'm going to have to tame some snow owls, and I'm going to come back and tame that, because there is no way I'm going to leave that there, because Gutch is going to be so good. Oh, this is the big castle thing. Uh, yeah, and there's aloes and rexes. Let's just kill you. Easy squeezy. Free stuff. Andrew Sarkis has to poop. Yeah, this place looks so cool. It's super red. And like, we've got a castle here. And we've got allies as well. That ally just disappeared. And that ally's decided to. You know, decided that it's not worth trying to fight me. Which is probably a smart thing to come to. A smart conclusion. That ally is probably smarter than the rest of its pack. Don't know why it wasn't the alpha. But yeah, we got another castle village place here. The, the buildings on this map, they look so cool. Like, look at this. Like, you could definitely do some kind of like really cool like roleplay type game here. Like, come on. This looks so cool. And there's more gutches. Yeah, I'm definitely going to have to tame a breeding pair of those dudes, because free resources sounds like a very good thing to me. Let's get some high ground and see if we can find the big bioluminescent area. And we've got a lot of metal here. Um, let's see. Let's get up here if we can. Okay, that's the map border. Okay. Um, I don't see anything. Looks bioluminescent. Can I get up here? I can. Ooh, that looks like it. That looks like it. Right there. Alright, we're just gonna have to head over that direction. Because, yeah. Yeah, if I can confirm where Shadow Man spawned, that'll be amazing. And, yeah, Rock Drakes were there in the trailer, so they might be there here. Probably have some special place. Yeah, that looks super washed out. Gamma 3. 3, I don't know why I pressed 1. Is this oil? I kind of need some of this, so I guess I'll grab... Oh, that's metal. That's a weird-looking metal node. Okay. Yeah, I do kind of need some oil. I guess I'll just have to go diving, which is actually really easy with an Andrew Sarkis, because they have a crap ton of oxygen, and because the saddles... It doesn't look very enclosed, but I guess it must be like glass or something there. 
because yeah, the saddle like is pretty enclosed. You can just breathe underwater. It's amazing. Hopefully we don't come into too much of a bad encounter with Shadow Mains, because those things are scary. Like... Ooh, Mantis. Okay, good. Just a Mantis. <laughs> it's so fun to do. Just like, kick. Kick. The bullshit doesn't do very much damage. Kick. Okay, that's what you get. Oh yeah, this is like Rockwell's Garden with Aberration Trees. Or Rockwell's Proliferation. No, that's the in its biome. Yeah, there's a rune. Very nice. Yes, yeah, so just leave that there. Um, uh, there's a crystal thing there. Let's see, is there anything special or is it just crystal? It looks like element or something special. No, it's just crystal. Disappointing. I'm very disappointed. Alright, anything important? Oil? Electronic? Uh, I don't really need the metal now that I have an Anki. I guess I'll take those. And I'll just drop the rest. Uh, let's see, any shadow mains? Because they like to. Yeah. I don't know where that water's coming from. It's just like. Yeah, we, anyway, yeah, shadow mains like to hide. They like to be invisible. Which is annoying, but at least you can see their footsteps. Just a pteranodon. I thought that was some. That's a shadow main. That's two shadow mains. 145, 140. Is that a breeding pair of shadow mains? Is that legitimately just breeding? Right. Come on, I could have these peasants. Is that legitimately a breeding pair of shadow mains? Female 145, female 140. Okay, it's not a breeding pair, but. Oh my god, there's two high level shadow mains there. Oh my god. Okay, well, this strip is blessed. 180 lightning egg, two high level shadow mains. Like, come on. I need fish baskets to tame those, but that is definitely, we're gonna need to do that. Maybe in the next episode, we'll have to see. And this mantis. Okay, we just one-shot that packy. I feel sorry for it. I haven't seen any rock drakes, though. I don't know where they spawn. They might spawn here, but it might... The, the, but the trailer might just be misleading, because... Trailers do do that. Um... Because... Yeah, I, know, I knew that Shadow Mains... Well, I was like 99% sure Shadow Mains would spawn here, because they spawn here in the mod version. But rock tracks in the mod version, I think they have some special like cave in the upper world. So yeah, I guess Midgard would be what you'd call it. And let's go up here. And oh yeah, they, they probably have they might have some special cave down here. Maybe there's a cave entrance in that bioluminescent area. Alright, hold up. I'm sure you're like, Surly, but you showed us the video of where to find rock drakes. How do you not know where to find them? This video was pre-recorded, like, ages ago. Um, because, yeah, well, I had to pre-record a bunch of videos, so I did this one, and I did that. And the reason that that uh, tutorial came out before this one is because the tutorial, I felt it would get more views if it came out, like, instantly, than just a full-on video, than a tutorial afterwards. So, yeah, that's why... I'm surprised at the locations of all this stuff. But yeah, we need to tame those. That might be next episode's duty. That might not be. You'll have to wait and see, guys. But yeah, that is so amazing either way. Like, two high-level Shadow Mains. They're not a breeding pair, but they'll give us some great stats to use for breeding. Well, there's another one. There's two, there's two of these bioluminescent things. Okay, I guess we'll go over here. And yeah, that's the obelisk to get teleported out of here. Okay, I should stop taking full damage on this thing, because... Yeah, and we got the Aurora. Very nice. Uh, yeah, I love the jump. It's such a good jump. And, like, these things have so much stam. Alright, let's check this out, because there are two, apparently. Or I just looped around. That's also a possibility. Uh, yeah, let's see what's in here. I have a feeling I just looped, but... Yeah, I guess we'll just jump down. I think I'm just being dumb, but yeah. Let's see. There's some cool looking bushes. Let's break that, so I can... Yeah, I must say this is so cool looking, like... Just like the bioluminescent trees, like... The rock or garden, like, mutated weird things. Little light pets. Where are the mushrooms on this map? 
Uh, they used to take the Agar Agar Agaravic ones, I think, right? Oh, you're being attacked. Oh, well, of course. Titanium armor. I don't want to kill the uh, cool little light pet dude. Okay, got it. All right, I know that there are mushroom like lee trees on. Okay, yeah, these ones. Agaravic, I think the glow tails take on oh, tame it because glow tails are cool. Huh? Oh, okay, it's not agaravic. There's auric. I think those take the fel feather lights, right? Uh, aquatic. That's for the bulb dogs. Uh, where's the other one? Uh, I highly doubt they take these ones, but oh wait, they do. Okay. Okay, didn't expect them to take those ones because those ones are like narcotics. The ascorbic ones. Oh well. Yeah, those ones are just essentially narcotics. I guess we'll mine the rest of these so we can feed it when we get back to base. Other ascorbic ones, like just like narcotics, seem to be super rare. Um, where is it? Right, you probably want another feed, right? Yep, sweet. Your name will be. Lizzie for short, because it's a lizard, you get it? Yeah, I'm smart. And it's a female, good. And I'll drop that, and I'll put a crossbow there in case we need to program up the skills really quickly. And of course I dropped them in the worst spot. Oh yeah, but now I have a uh, friend. I'm just gonna... Oop. That's not the email we want to do. Let me just turn you off. Um, so we don't have to... Yeah, so it doesn't waste charge. Not that we need charge, unless they're nameless on this map, which would be very interesting. Yeah, I have a feeling this is just where we were before, but still. It looks so cool at night, like, yeah, it's like the bioluminescent area. I still think the bioluminescent area looks cooler, but still. This is amazing, like, look at this. Look at this place. Oh my god. It is beautiful. It is beautiful. There's a bulb dog. Bulb dog. Bulb dog. Bulb dog. What level are you? 20, you suck. He's still adorable, though. Yeah, alright, let's. And there's another rune there. I heard an Ichthyornis. Of course, this beautiful place will be ruined by Ichthyornis. Any, anywhere that there are Ichthyornis just ruins everything. What was that? Is that an alpha? Okay. That might have been like some special, like, glowing crystal cave thing or something, I don't know. Speaking of glowing crystal caves, this is 100% where you get rock drakes. I'm, I'm also going to bet that this is irradiated if you get rock drakes here. Oh boy, this is where you get rock drakes 100%. Oh, yeah, we're taking radiation damage. But we're on an Andrew Sarkis. Is that radiation damage? Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Andrew Sarkis make you immune to radiation. That is so broken. Is it breaking down my armor? No. That is so broken. I found the rock tricks. That is so broken. These things make you immune to radiation. That is the most broken thing, because the saddle protects you from all harm. But I didn't think it would mean all, all harm. Oh my god, that is the most broken thing. That is so broken. Alright, we need to get a good rock drake here. It's gonna be... S oh my god, this is so beautiful too. Look at it. Oh my god. That is the most broken thing. These things make you immune to radiation. I'm gonna have to like dismount really quickly to get this egg. Alright, what level is it? If it's about, that's a 100. It's not worth it. Um, I mean, I could try and grab it just to try and get their attention. Because I reckon we can take him. That is the most broken thing. What's taking that one damage, though? Like, it's not my Andrew Sarkis. It's not my armor. Like, what's taking the damage? Is it just there because we're in the radiation and... and I don't know. Like, I, I don't think it's my light pet. Because those dudes are immune to radiation. Also, the fact that Andrew Sarkis are immune to radiation is OP as, it, as well. Because, like, some of the Aberration exclusive creatures aren't even immune to radiation, and these things are. Or is it just the saddle that makes them immune, or something? I don't know, but this is... This is the... This is beautiful. Like, look at this place. 
Okay, yeah. Can't do first person. Look at this place. It's beautiful. Oh my god. Uh, yeah, I found this completely by chance. Oh my god. This place is so beautiful. I keep saying that, but oh my god. Look at it. Look at all the crystals. Look at all the glowy stuff. And this is default gamma too. It looks worse in higher gamma because... Yeah. I like that we can use default gamma because this map is usually super dark. But yeah, let's see if we can find a good egg. If not, we'll go with that level 100 egg. Because we actually have a good rock drake saddle back at base. Um, I got it from a random surface drop. I'm like, oh hey, rock drake saddle. I didn't know you could get those. 20. Suck. You suck. Let's hope that egg's good. And that egg. We got two good eggs. That'll be even better than one good egg because you can breed rock drakes now. I'm guessing you're a high level. And seeing as you're next to that egg, then stonks. <laughs> 185. Oh, this could be 185 egg. This could be 185 egg. We could legitimately be getting a 185 uh, rock drake and a 180 lightning wyvern. That could be what we're getting from this video. It's episode what? Four? No, sit. Five. I literally just recorded episode 4, like, I did the outro for episode 4 like an hour ago. <laughs> Alright, what are you? 55, Oh, Let's hope this egg is good. Alright, hello, there's so many of these dudes. But for some reason they don't get mate, either they're all the same gender or they're not getting mate boosted. Like, they're, they don't get mate boosted at all, for some reason. Don't know why that wouldn't, but yeah. We're just doing full damage. Alright, let's see, what's this? Um, up. 100. Oh, come on. I want to get that one. I want to get an egg from that 185. That would be so amazing. Um, let's see. There's another egg. And jump. And what are you? 20. Come on. Where's the good ones? Oh, God. I don't know. I don't know where the exit is. This is going to be awkward to get my find my way out because this place all looks the same. 60. Come on. I'm not going to leave this place until I find a good egg. Well, I guess I'll just go with level 100 if I can't find anything. But I'd love to get a good egg, especially like a 185. That would be amazing. All right, is this the entrance? Yeah, that's the entrance. So this will mean. All right, that means we've done a full circuit of this place. So. No good eggs. So level 100 it is then. That's good enough for me because we can always just get more. Like, we know where this place is now. Alright, we're going to have to be quick because we don't want to take too much radiation damage. Give me the egg. Alright, we're on. Alright, move. Move you stupid pig thing. Alright, and I think we killed all the drakes so nothing's attacking us. This, That is so broken. Andrew Sarkis. Like, I'm telling you, that's going to get patched, but these things are so broken. I love these things so much. Oh my god. Like, seriously. We'll see. Yeah. And there's raptors. I just bought like a horde of rock drakes. I don't need to deal with your kind. Alright, um. This is where we are on the map. We're super far. And do I have a GPS in me? I do. Um. I can't really see that easily because the light in the saddle for some reason. Um, let me just. Uh, yeah, 42.49 in Asgard. I'm going to mark that. Um, 42 and 49. Rock. Drake. Okay. Okay, it can't, can't be that long. Rock Drakes. Okay. How did that get there? I guess it's 42.4, but we're close enough. That is amazing. Let's kill this alpha. Because the vent not getting at 185 egg. But we still get level 100 egg. That is so broken. That is so broken. I keep saying that, but these things are broken. Andrew Sarkis. I'm telling you. Crap, hold on. I'm telling you guys, Andrew Sarkis. We're getting it. We need to get out of here. We need to hatch those two. That is amazing. That is so good. Alright, so the egg's hatching. We got the wyvern egg up first. Look at the amount of torches I have. You can't really see it, but look at how many torches I have. It's ridiculous, but yeah. We got the egg hatching. And bam, 180 egg. I'm not gonna name you yet. Oh yeah, crap! No! No! I turned my imprint settings up. Crap! No, now it's not gonna get a full imprint. It's not gonna get any imprint. 
Okay, it's gonna be taking a bit of damage. Hopefully it doesn't die. Alright, let's leave you over here. I might just... Yeah, I'm gonna change my growth settings so that I can actually get an imprint on this dude. Uh, no, that's not the one. Uh, disable ally look, so you actually look up and put you on passive. And let me go back to main menu. And, yeah, because I turned them up for my Andrew Sarkis breeding, because it's a trick with imprinting in single player, where if you put it on the... Oh, where is it? Maybe cuddle interval. Where is it? There it is. Where you put it on the lowest setting, it takes like 40 seconds. Then it's like ready instantly, then you turn it up. It'll still take 40 seconds, but you'll get full imprint, because, yeah. Alright, right, where's my mature speed? Alright, let me turn that down to... Yeah, 1x. Alright, yeah. It's gonna be... T oh yeah, just, I'm, just, I'm just gonna wait 45 minutes. <laughs> yeah, I'll probably just cry the drank. And pick up the glue towel. Alright, now I'll sleep you there. And yeah, drake egg. Hopefully, yeah, I think the drake egg takes the same, needs the same as the wyvern egg. Alright, too hot. Oh yeah, crap, they're too hot. I forgot about that. Yeah, drake eggs need heat, wyvern eggs need cold. Let's put all these out. It's gonna be such a pain because I'm to, yeah, individually hit E on all of them. Ugh. Put out fire, put out fire. Uh, put out fire and put out fire. Alright, uh, I'm gonna. I guess, I guess I'll wait till night or I'll head up to the snow. Yeah. Alright, let's. Why are you still growing up super quick? Okay, super quick is probably an overstatement. But yeah, I'll just leave you there. Hopefully you don't starve. Are you still growing up really quick? I'm on one X, goddamn. Um I got my RG on me. Let's take this Drake egg up to the snow. Uh is two degrees enough, actually. Nope. Yeah, let's take it up to the snow. Yeah, you know, I'm gonna get my fur, that might be smart. I'm not very I'm not usually very smart, but let's be smart. Um fur. Right, let's head up to the snow and level up the Archie. Uh, yeah, hopefully the snow is cold enough to incubate the Drake egg, and it is almost night, so yeah. Because yeah, Drake, I forgot. Yeah, Drake eggs need to be cold, and Wyvern eggs need to be hot. Yeah, I thought. Yeah. Oh well. Yeah, let's go up to the snow. It should be nice and chilly up here. Um. Yes. But yeah, so I'm still super like blown away that we managed to get a wyvern egg and a drake egg this quickly. Like I, yeah, like as I said, I plan on just going into Asgard. Like, oh yeah, like check it out, find some shadow mains, do all that stuff here, yeah. and then I just find a wyvern egg, a uh, super high level wyvern egg and a drake egg. All right, minus seven. Let's see if minus seven is good enough. Otherwise, we go to Jotunheim. <laughs> oh my God, we might have to go to Jotunheim. God damn. Then well, Jotunheim's like minus 90. <laughs> we can't survive in Jotunheim unless we have the most insane campfire spam. Like, yeah, also, yeah, there are my Rexes for the demonstration boss, so I need to get these killed at some time. Yeah. Maybe that'll be what we do before we beat the final boss in this series. Just kill these dudes. I mean, they only have like, what, 30k health on average? Okay, yeah, minus seven is too hot for a Drake egg. That's crazy. There are no, that's there's Daedons, not Andrew Sarkis. That's a lot of Cradonis. Goddamn. They look like the same. I keep getting them mixed up. Okay, yeah, camera up. At zero degrees. Goddamn. This map is ridiculous. It's so cold on this map. Like, come on. Maybe I might even have to go to Jotunheim to hatch that Drake egg. Like, I'm not even kidding. Like, Yo yeah, Jotunheim is like the coldest place in all of Ark, but it might just be cold enough for that Drake egg. Like, <laughs> yeah. Because, yeah, Jotunheim is crazy. Like, you, use, like, you lose health in Jotunheim at like, the speed of light. Um, yeah, I guess we'll just wait around for this dude to get his imprint. I might turn down the growth rate even more so I can actually get the imprint. Because, yeah. yeah. I guess I'll see you guys then. Guys, we're back. It's 40 minutes later, and it wants a walk. 
So follow me, little guy. Yep, follow me. You should get a full imprint from this. Yeah, we're gonna get a lightning wyvern. I'm still blown away with this, like lightning wyvern. Come on. Yeah, we're gonna go to Jotunheim to hatch this rock drake probably in the next episode, cause yeah, lightning wyvern. <laughs> That's the best type of wyvern too. <clears throat> Pretty sure the yeah the Jotunheim trench has uh what should we call it? Thingamajookers, uh ice wyverns. The Vanaheim trench has poison wyverns, and the uh, Midgard trench, which is this realm, well I guess the main one, has fire wyverns. Yeah, I guess I'll wait. I guess I'll bring you guys back when this thing's all grown up because yeah I'm super excited for this. It's what episode yet yeah, five. I'm pre-recording these super much in advance, like, as I said, I finished recording episode 4 earlier today. By earlier today, I mean like two hours ago. So, yeah. Um, yeah, I'm gonna bring you guys back. When this dude is grown up and we're gonna kill everything. Be grown. And... it's grown. We got a lightning wipe in. We don't even have a... <laughs> we're still living on, like, four wooden foundations. What's... but not oh crap, something's attacking the Anki, I think. Or is that Dodek? I think that's a Dodek. Well, first kill for the Lightning Wyvern. This is gonna be an insignificant dialer. What damage does the breath do? 122 to start off with. That's pretty good. Also, what kind of stats? I never checked this. Um, so... 5... 7... K health, 913 melee, and 376 melee. I think the melee... Actually, I don't know. I haven't used a Wyvern in so long. But yeah, let's blast some stuff. Like, look at that. Look at that. Like... Lightning Wyverns, guys. <laughs> best Wyvern. Definitely the best Wyvern. Let's kill this Quetzal. Let's try and challenge my authority over it's the King of the Sky. Let's get... So we can get you, son of a gun. There you go. Let's eat your face. Get some food for this guy, yeah, because you're running pretty low. I'm surprised it didn't actually start starving, because, yeah, I was, like, AFK for 40 minutes, so... I'm just waiting for this thing to be ready for its imprint. But, yeah. Let's see. I want to find a rune stone. Because that would be very nice. Let's get, let's put some levels into Stam. Because Wyverns need all of it. I wanted to... Well, I also want to go to the Midgard Wyvern Trench. Which is the other one in this realm. And uh, just murder some Fire Wyverns. Because that would be pretty fun. Because, yeah, Lightning Wyverns, the fact... Like, their breath, like, you can, like, shoot all... Like... At like, what is that like? You can shoot like probably like at a hundred degrees in either direction. So like you can just circle anything and just murder it really easily. But yeah, let's see if I can find a rune stone. It shouldn't be too hard. Let's put my fur on. Well, no, that's probably not worth it because I just fly over this. But yeah, let's kill these little piggies. My piggies way better. The Andrew Sarkis aren't pigs, but shut up. Um, can we have a re really good fly now? Yeah, as I said, I didn't really want to use flies much, because I want to experience map on foot, because you can find stuff easier. Like, find all the cool stuff easier, but still ha- Like, who can- who wants to turn out a wipe? Like, especially a wipe in as high level as this, like, come on. This is amazing. I love this thing so much. Is that a cave? I think I've been to that cave. That's the Aberration Cave, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I think it is. Uh, maybe we'll go to the volcano now. I think I want to level this thing a bit more before we do that. Because, you know, although there are a lot of notes, I know, notes, I keep calling them that. Um, runes. I think I left a couple of runes here, because, yeah. I don't like grabbing them as soon as I see them, no matter what, because, yeah, there might be, yeah, there might be a certain time when coming along with, yeah, such as right now, when I need them to level up my dude. It's a big crystal cave place with some bats and stuff. Oh. Okay. It's a full-on cave that dismounts you. Okay, that's awkward. Alright, yes, you're following me. And let's get out of here. Because I don't want to fight stuff in here. And there's a snake. Come okay, on, Wyvern. Yeah, it should be already be on half a passive. I did not expect that to dismount me. Did not expect that. Alright, and stop, and land one. 
Yeah, this place looks really cool too, I gotta say, like with the like... I think they have some special name, the hexag hexagonal rocks. Yeah. I think they have some special name, but... Yeah, it looks amazing. This map, this whole map looks amazing. Like, come on. Look at this place. God damn. Um, let's see, pack your rhinos. Oh, rude. Let's get that first. Yeah, I like that they have, they, like, there are so many of them and they glow red, so you can see them really easily. Like, how many have we got so far? 15. 16 now. Sweet. Now we got the XP buff. And four levels, let's get 2.5k. Can't get an even 2.5k, but whatever. I'm not salty about that. Not one bit. That's a crap ton of base damage to do. What, what, what are we doing? Zero to? <gasps> those are Fjord Hawks! I thought those were Ichthyornis! Those are Fjord Hawks! Put my flak on in case it attacks me. Well, I doubt it's gonna kill me. Those are Fjord Hawks! Wait, wait, what? Oh! Is that how you tame them? <gasps> That's how you tame them! I just figured out how to tame it! You. You kill things and eat them. That's why I was doing zero damage to it, because I think I'd initiated the taming for it. Alright, let's kill this Tyranodon and get it to eat it. Alright, you need that, dude. <gasps> That's how you tame him. Do you this work with babies? Like, I like I bring, like, a crap ton of babies, I kill them all. Uh, and then, or, like, a crap ton of useless dinos I don't need, I kill them all, and I just feed them to this dude. I reckon that'll work, or is it only, like, with wild creatures? Alright, is it going to follow me around, or is it just going to fly around? No, it's going to follow me. I did not expect to find- okay, no, it's just gonna fly around. Right. Uh, I did not expect to find a Fjord Hawk and figure out the taming for it that easily. God damn. Uh, more levels. Uh, we definitely want more than 10k. Um, we're gonna just like probably just drag this Parasaur over to it. Yeah, this has stopped from being a Wyvern leveling to Fjord Hawk taming. Alright. Hey, my friend. Want a Parasaur? Tasty, tasty. I did not expect that to be the taming method. Alright, let's leave this Packy over here. Um, yeah, get its two friends over. Sweet, sweet, sweet. That's why we're doing zero damage to it, I think. Because, like... I thought it was Nick Yorn, that's why I was trying to kill it. Alright, sweet. That should give it a lot of affinity. God damn! This is the blessed episode! Oh my god. Wyvern. Rock Drake. Fjord Hawk. This is so blessed. And Shadow Mains too, I forgot, I found a bunch of those. Okay, it loses affinity really quickly, but oh my god. Oh my god. Does it I probably gains like gets more affinity per like the higher level the dino. Let's just lead over this dude. And that'll run away from me. Alright, let's kill it. Where is it? Oh there it is. Yeah, no, it's still leveling up. Dude a little. And yeah, we do zero damage to it because... Oh crap, no! We reset its effect We reset the affinity because I think we damaged it. Crap. Alright. We, do, we, don't da we don't kill it, but... Yeah. We reset the affinity. Alright, that's good to know. But I'm figuring everything out on the fly here, guys, so... Yeah. Don't judge me for being dumb. Let's kill this dude. Good drag, stego bodies, I don't know. Some bite damage. Okay, so we're at 400. Alright, Fjord Hawk. Nice juicy stego for you. Like, super far away, goddamn. Let's get some foods. That wasn't the button we wanted to hit. Alright. Fjord Hawk. Do these things eat tech creatures, I wonder? Alright, I did not know this would be the taming method for these things. Goddamn. Alright, um. That's a Bronto right there, that makes life easy, because Brontos will give it a bunch of affinity. Let's hope they not hit the field hawk. Alright, two Brontos, that'll be even better. Probably oh, crap. I think it got hit by the Brontos actually. Alright, so I think the best way to do this would be like Yeah, just just drag over a bunch of dead bodies. Yeah, I was in no way prepared to do this because I didn't know this is the tank then. Oh crap, I hate the Bronto. Got it. Alright, now let's kill this thing. Oh, is it, it is attack it is attacking me. Or is it just falling your eyes and taming it? How many hits are you gonna take? Alright, 140. Eat that. Why are you running? Don't run away. 12 levels too. Very nice. 
15k should be good for now. Are you coming back? I think it's coming back. No, I think it's, you know, it's flying away. Uh, more melee. Very nice. Okay, no, I think it's coming back. Yeah, it's coming. It's coming. It's coming. Ah, damn. Alright, this should give it so much affinity. Let me just check this guy out. Like, look at him. Oh, he's so cute. Hey, he's so cute. Oh my god. Yeah, I thought that thing really quick. Oh, he's so cute. Hey, he's so cute. Hey, does it follow me around? I don't think it does. Yeah, it doesn't. At least I don't think so. Alright, I need to kill something and drag it over. That is the strat. Does it eat tech creatures, I wonder? Um, I mean, one way to find out. It's murder. Murder is always the solution. Alright, can you drag things with the wyvern? Right. And I'm pretty sure you can't drag st stego bodies here. Alright, yeah, we need to kite something over such as that Bronto and get the Fjordhawk to eat it, because that'll give it a good bit of affinity. Uh, long neck. Bam. How did that miss? Bam. There we go, we got it. Alright, Mr. Fjordhawk, are you a Mr. or a Mrs. Fjordhawk? Mrs. Fjordhawk. Wow, you're effective, Mrs. Fruind. But, yeah, let's get this Bronto over. And we'll kill it for our little buddy. And hopefully it doesn't hit our little buddy. Yeah, this episode is so blessed. Like, yeah. Like, come on. This is amazing. Alright, come on. Come on, Bronto. Oh, you're already de -aggroed. Come over here. Don't flee. I need to bring you over to my little buddy. He's gonna eat you. Come here, big guy. He's stuck. He shouldn't be. Let's get some hits in. We should get 150 damage now. Oh wow, you're a low level. Okay. Grab it. Yeah, alright. Good hook. Eat this. Eat this. It's tasty. It's good for you. Eat your greens. Because the branch is green. Go and eat it. Eat it. Eat it. Eat it. What's the range on these things? Like, what's their detect like, range of detecting the creatures, the yummy creatures to eat? Why is it doing that? It looks like it's circling something. Or is it just flying around randomly? Hey dude, dude. I got some yummy Bronto for you. Follow me. You following me? Do these things follow you? Or is it like looking... Do I see a fish or something here? Don't know. What was that sound? I think it's following me. It's doing something, it looks like it's coming in this direction. That's the important bit. No, I don't think it is. Because this map is so dark, get my turn again. Oh yeah, I think it's following me. Right, I grow onto this Bronto. I don't know, like, does the level of the creature eaten affect the amount of affinity gained? Is it? I don't know. No, don't fly away. I think it's scared of my wyvern. It's probably scared of my wyvern. I'd imagine it would be. I mean, yeah. Um, I guess let's take the wyvern away a little. No, it's coming. Okay, I don't think it's scared when I mount the wyvern. It's only scared of it when it's, like, just chilling. I guess it trusts me, like, controlling the wyvern, but not the wyvern, like, on its own. Like, what? Didn't get anything anything from that. You serious? What are the rules? What are the rules? God damn. Oh, wait, what? It's carrying, it's carrying around a bag. Is it going to give this to me? Like, is it going to gift it to me? Is this, like, part of the timing? Does it... Like, will it want me to accept a gift? <gasps> oh my god. This is so cool. Let me turn the light on so you can s So you can see. Ooh, light, yes. So I reckon, maybe like if you bring, like brought over a bunch of, you know, like if you like, if I like brought over my Andrew Sarkis and bred them a little, and then, yeah, I killed the babies and then just fed them to this dude, would that work? Or does it only eat wild creatures? What are you doing? This thing is very energetic. Looks like it was about to slow down there. Do I have to like crouch down for it to stop? I don't know what's going on. It's just circling. Um, I guess I'll kite the stego over and kill it. Because more affinity is good. Right. Okay, I thought it was going to land down and give me a little present. 
Alright, yeah, let's speed at this dude. I'm sorry, Stego, but you'll become a greater cause. And you're dead. Alright, good luck. Eat this. Eat it. Don't eat it. And now I'm freezing. Wait, it's on 24.6 now. It was on 24.26.4 before, wasn't it? Hello, little guy. What are you trying to do? You're landing? Why are you trying to land? Oh, you are so cute. It's so fluffy. Or feathery. Look at it. Oh, it's so cute. It's so cute. What is it doing? I can't even target it. I can see its name, but I can't, like... Okay, there we go. It's free. Okay, I think it's going for the Stego now. Alright. How much affinity is it going to get from that? Oh, it's losing affinity. Or well, 29%. Lots of tech wrecks. 37%. Alright. And tech wrecks, come to me. Right. Oh, hello, little guy. Hello, little guy. Hello. Tech wrecks, don't come to me. Oh, wait, did it drop this? It dropped it for me. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Like I thought, I thought it would like want me to like accept its gift, so it'll gain affinity from that. But still, thank you for your hook. That is so cool. That's such a good feature. I love that. Okay, it's following me around. It's like a Amaga, except it does none of the work. But it's but that's okay because it's cute. <laughs> All right, let's kill these dudes and feed them to my guy. He probably eats tech creatures. They look tasty. All right, did those stegos kill the Rex? Wow, that's impressive. All right, now let's kill the stegos. Bam. Bam. I'm so glad we got the shotgun. Alright, field hook. And the tech rex should also be kinda tasty. And yours down. Okay, I shouldn't waste a shotgun shell on that. 45%. Very nice. 49%. Also very nice. Alright, we're just leaving our wife in there. Poor guy. You need the tech rex? Oh yeah. Even though I didn't kill it. This would get a, give it a lot. Look at us. It's not getting anything from that. Is it because I didn't kill it? Oh, I got the back! I did that again. I did the back thing. You gonna give it to me? Give me a prezzy? <gasps> Give me a prezzy! Thank you. 59% maybe? 61%, very nice. Does, is, does the level of the creature affect it, or just the creature? Like, the amount of like time it takes to eat the creature, or the amount of like, stuff the creature gives? Alright, Truck, you're next. Yeah. So glad we got this. Let's go aim for the feet. And let's kill you. Alright, eat that. And let's kill this dude. You're at 150. There's a few on you. Why are you running away? There we go. Sweet. You're a savage little guy. You're also a very hungry little guy. Oh my god, you're so beautiful. You are beautiful. Well, see, attracts don't seem to give very much. I'm not surprised. Also, what do you do? Oh, Rex. We're going to kill that. Because they'll both give a lot of affinity, and that's also a threat. Another yellow drop. And Rex is dead. Very nice. Alright, that'll be very nice. <laughs> very, very nice. Everything is very nice. Good hawks are very nice. Are you still trying to land? Are oh, you bugged out? I'll have to harvest this track for you, won't I? Oh, no, you're flying away. Are we going for the Rex or something now? That'll be good, because that'll give a lot of affinity. Or are you going back? Are you trying again? Or are you fleeing for some reason? Why are you fleeing from me? Is it the light? You don't like the light? It's okay. It's okay, little guy. It's okay, don't worry. I'll protect you. I'm protecting you. I'll protect you, my guy. Yeah, good. Good little fuel dog. Oh, you're so cute. Oh, it glows. It looks like it glows. Yeah, it kind of glows. It is so dark. Alright, what are you doing now? Alright, now we know where they spawn too. Oh crap. Yeah, I can't. I can't wait to use this thing, because, yeah, it'll like, yeah, it'll like, if you die, it'll like, grab your bag and fly it to you. Yeah, sweet, alright. Meet the Stego as well. Tasty, tasty. Well, I didn't kill it, and I think it knows that, so it's not getting anything from it. Oh no, it does seem to be. We got like 1% from the Stego. Alright, let's go eat the tracks in the Fiomia again. Yeah. Let's go back up to Gamma 10. Nope, Gamma 10. Alright, hello little guy. Where's the Fiumia? That's the Fiumia. Eat this. Or the truck. 
Either works. Ooh, there's... Let's stick it there. What's... What are they... F oh, there's a raptor. Two raptors. Wait, are they attacking a fuel talk? No, I think they're attacking my raptor. Right. Yeah, they're attack... Oh, it's almost tamed. My raptor dead. Alright, yes. Fuel talk. Fuel talk. Fuel talk. Fuel talk. Fuel talk. Let's not getting anything. Okay, no, I got like 2%. Alright, yes, 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 what are we going to call it, um, uh, Eris, okay, sweet, oh, why, why can't I target you, okay, there we go, I can target you, alright, let me chuck down the, um, sorry, Elizabeth, you are now redundant, I'm sorry, you can get cry put it, and I'm just going to chuck you up back at base, where I'll probably forget about you forever. Uh, yeah. Sweet, we got a Fjord Hawk. Uh, can I make you land? Uh, that's not the button, that's the button. Where are you going? God damn. Also, I think I nicked you on a stall my canteen, because I don't have it anymore. I'll just put you on passive so you don't try and eat everything. Uh, let's turn that off. Look at you. Look at you, you're so cute. Oh, yes you are. You look kind of derpy with like your eyes, they don't look like they're facing in the same direction, but that's okay because you are still adorable. Oh my god, we got a field hawk, guys. We got a field hawk. Also, these things have the weirdest hitbox. I can pick up. Oh. Oh, we see. Okay, uh, the water thing. It's gonna. That's gonna be awkward. Uh, field hawk invulner invulnerable. Invulnerable. Is, does that mean the field hawk's invulnerable, or I'm invulnerable, or invulnerable because of the field hawk? So many questions. All right, doesn't have anything you can do like the snowma when you like jump and press C. That's okay. All right, let's get back to the wyvern because we've completely forgotten about this. Um, let's get a drink too, and let's get the yellow drop. Oh, it shows yeah, it shows dead stuff. Oh, no, it shows bags. Let's take this. And this bag as well. Didn't know there's a bag here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We got everything. Why didn't that let me drink? Okay. Let me drink. I'm pressing the button. Do I have to do this? Yeah, someone else won't let me drink. Like I'm pressing the button. I'm pressing E. Just won't let me drink, so I just have to spam crouch in the water. Okay now. There we go. Alright, Wyvern. Let's grab this drop. Yeah, I'm sorry, Wyvern, but Fjordhawks are cuter than you. That's a drink. Well, we got a crappy pistol and a Maywing saddle. That's good. Because, yeah, Maywing tame some Maywings as well, because they're so fast. Like, Wyverns are good, but Maywings are way better. Well, Wyverns are good for fighting. Maywings are good for speed. But, anyway, guys, yes, that is definitely going to be it for today. We've accomplished so much in this video. We have a Fjordhawk now. Like, look at it. It's so cute. It's so cute. Look at it. We have a field hawk now, guys. We have a wyvern. We have a drake egg. Everything is good. We're probably going to be either taming shadow mains, taming May wings, probably getting the drake, and maybe even moving base next episode, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. I guess I'll be seeing you guys in the next episode. Goodbye.